Okay, so using the now latest version of Unreal Engine 4 3.5, I'm gonna show you how to create a relatively simple main menu, start menu, with three buttons one to start level one, and the second button to load level two, and the third button to quit the game. And I'll also show, show you how to make the color on the buttons change when you hover the mouse pointer over them and when you click and also add some sounds to them and add an image, a banner for your game or something, yeah. So go to blueprints, right click, user interface, widget blueprints. Then name it main menu, for example. Save and here you have the screen, which is where we will place all of the buttons and boxes. So I will start with the first button. And it can be, yeah. Let's say six fifty, one thirty, position six thirty. Next button, boom, 650, 130, uh, 630, right about there, third button, boom, 650, 130, 6.30, right about there, yeah, so I'm just gonna save again, now give them some names, locate text block, drag it onto them, select the text, write the name, let's say start level 1 and I want the color to be black next one load level 2 black third one quit game black. Now I'm going to save again, then I will change the colors. So first one I want to be dark blue and then on style open that one. Here you can change the color for hovered and when you press it, so when you hover the mouse over it. Well you can add images and I might go into that in a later tutorial but for now I will just create simple buttons. So choose tint and I will make the color change to a brighter blue when you hover it. And then when you press the button it will turn yellow. Why not? Next button. Should be... Turquoise. Turquoise. Yeah, one of those. Style. When hovered. Will be... Light. Turquoise. 
and when pressed I'm going to change it to yellow as well save it again quick game this one should be greenish style hovered even lighter green and then when pressed this should be red yeah like that now we will make sure these buttons are aligned at the center of the screen so we will select one button and take this flower thing place it in the middle like so and we will do the same for all of them save again now let's do some scripting well blueprinting select the first button go all the way down to events add on clicked and we want this button to open the first level so simply write open level choose your level name make sure it's correct FPS test level 7 I guess this is back to designer next button open level 2 I don't really have any level 2 so what I will do is simply show you that you can open another level so I will locate this folder see if we got any maps I can take yeah example map so I'll just copy that back here level name paste and then quit game button down here Let's see and that's just simply quit quit game yes save um, but now we will be able to enter the new level but the view the widget won't be removed so what we're gonna do is drag this out and then take remove from viewport and I'm sorry if I'm talking really in a low voice but my girlfriend is sleeping in the next room so I gotta keep it down uh, and we will also connect the second level to it like this and we will add a mouse pointer so right click and then write get player controller like this drag return value out and show mouse cursor set set mouse cursor connect like that compile and save now we will have to do the same for well not the same but we need to set it up for the level blueprint because this is simply the blueprint for the main menu but it doesn't do anything if we don't set it up in the level blueprint so right click then begin play event begin play boom we need to create a widget because this menu is a widget so create widget there in class select class choose your main menu or your start menu or whatever you want to call it and then you need to add the viewport or add this widget to the viewport so right add 
No, no, no. Drag the return value out. I mean, add to viewport like that. Now we need to set player controller again. Player controller and get the mouse. Set mouse show cursor like that. Connect this. Compile. Now. Now I think it should be correct. So I will save and we will see. Yes, start level one. And here it is. Whoops. We try it again. Load level two. Boom. Here it is. And then simply quit game. Boom. It quit, but it turned black. This is correct. You see the colors change when I push. So they all work, but the red turned black. I don't want that because then you can't see anything. So back to the designer. Style. When pressed, don't take it black, then take it yellow. Okay, so that's good. Now, back into the main menu, I will add the banner. So, locate image. Drag it out, perhaps like this. Then, in appearance, choose image. I've already created a little Unreal Tutorials logo, so I'm gonna use that. This one also, remember the flower. Yeah, it's really not. Center. Now it's centered. Compile. Save. Here we go. That's pretty cool. But now I will add sound to this and I will save. And a couple of times this has crashed when I'm trying to add sound, so it might crash now. I hope I'm hoping it doesn't. At least just push the button and on the style, go all the way down to press sound and hover the sound. And I have already created a few sounds, so I'm gonna take button push here and button push one there. And I'm gonna do the same for all of them. Like that. Compile. Save. Let's see. basic main menu. Have a great day.